Good morning, Mr. Gales. How are you today? Doctor, I'm not sure what is wrong with me. My joints hurt. I have small red spots on my face and chest as well. Recently, I have experienced a hardening and tightening of my skin. It looks shiny and it feels so tight. Could you please explain what's going on? Well, Mr. Gales, it seems that you may have scleroderma according to your symptoms. Scleroderma literally means hard skin and results from an overproduction and accumulation of collagen in body tissues. In our previous demystifying medicine videos, we have discussed a lot about scleroderma, but what class of diseases does it fall under? Well, scleroderma is a type of autoimmune disease that affects your immune system. What is autoimmune disease? I have never heard about it before. Can you tell me more about it? Definitely. Autoimmune disorders cause your immune system to attack your body's healthy tissue and cells instead of harmful substances in your body. For unknown reasons, the immune system turns against the body, producing inflammation and the overproduction of collagen. Specifically, when you feel pain in your joints, it's just because the immune system is attacking the membranes in your joints. Autoimmune disease is a type of disease where your body's immune system is attacking healthy tissue by accident. So everyone has an immune system that is required to protect the body from foreign pathogens and bacteria. Sometimes the immune system may be overly doing its job or not working enough to protect the body. So in the case of overactivity of the immune system, the immune system targets the body's healthy tissue instead of fighting bacteria. There are more than 80 types of autoimmune diseases including rheumatoid arthritis, inflammatory bowel disease, Addison's disease, type 1 diabetes, and multiple sclerosis. But a patient can have more than one autoimmune disease. Such diseases often affect the blood vessels, the connective tissues, the thyroids, pancreas, joints, muscles, and red blood cells and skin. It may result in destruction of body tissues, abnormal organ growth, and changes in the organ functions. In our body, the white blood cells play a crucial role on the immune system by protecting against harmful substances, which include viruses, bacteria, and cancer cells. Such harmful substances have antigens which cause your body to create antibodies against these antigens and destroy the invaded substances. However, autoimmune diseases cause your immune system to be unable to distinguish between healthy tissue and antigens, which then leads your body to destroy normal tissue. Therefore, some bacteria are considered as triggers that confuse the immune system. But why do I have it? Currently, the cause of autoimmune diseases are unknown. Possible theories are that bacteria, viruses, or drugs cause confusion to the immune system. Autoimmune disease often runs in families, and about 75% of the patients are female, according to the American Autoimmune Related Diseases Association. Additionally, it predicted that African Americans, Hispanics, and Native Americans have higher risk of developing the disease. Hmm. Can we cure these type of diseases? Currently, there is no definite cure to these diseases. However, there are some things that you can do to help yourself, Mr. Gales. We recommend healthy diets, regular exercise, and limited sun exposure to patients. In addition, getting plenty of rest and taking vitamin supplements make your body stronger. Medical treatment depends on the specific disease. The important goal of the treatments are to reduce inflammation and control the autoimmune process. Another goal is to reduce immune overactivity. Some medical intervention techniques include hormone replace therapy, blood transfusions if the blood is affected, anti-inflammatory medication for joint problems, pain medication, immunosuppressive medication, and physical therapy. Furthermore, there are also some alternative treatment methods that had some relieving effects on some people. You could try out herbs, chiropractic therapy, hypnosis, and acupuncture. Ah, this is Dr. Ellen Fred, the head lab researcher in our hospital who studies autoimmune diseases. Nice to meet you, Dr. Fred. Can you tell me a little about your research? Yes, of course. But first, I'll tell you about autoimmune diseases in a societal perspective. The total burden for autoimmune disorder is hard to estimate because while some are chronic, others are less serious. Arthritis alone is estimated to cause a $65 billion disease burden, making it one of the most expensive diseases faced by society. As a result, they are subject of significant research in the world and in our hospital. Currently, our 
team is working on applying method of gene therapy to replace problematic molecular genetic information that relates to autoimmune disorder which might have developed naturally or passed on through the family. You see, it hasn't been very long since the concept that the body's own immune system was responsible for diseases. It was acknowledged in the mid-1960s. Around this time, animal models showed how antibodies could be formed against red blood cell. In the 1970s, autoimmune diseases have begun to be described in increasing molecular detail. In the past decade, the advances of molecular biology have enabled the identification of autoantigens involved in a variety of autoimmune disorders, making our research much more effective. Wow! Thank you for the explanation. I would never have guessed that autoimmune diseases would be such significant global lab subjects for researchers. Hope you develop a treatment soon! Okay, let's run several tests to confirm the autoimmune disease you have. We can diagnose an autoimmune disease by identifying the antibodies your body is producing. It can be done using autoantibody tests, anti-nuclear antibody tests, complete blood count, and more. Okay, thank you so much, doctor. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by the McMaster Demystifying Medicine series. If you enjoyed this video, please share, comment, and hit the subscribe button to check out our other videos.